I used to be broke, I used to be miserable, I used to have absolutely nothing. Only anxiety about feeling like a failure and that everybody was so much more ahead than myself. The one day I created a vision board, actually this vision board. I put pictures up of how I envisioned my kind of perfect life to look like, things that I wanted to attract into my life. This was a few years before 2016 when I started really intensively doing this manifestation journey that I have spoken about in my content that actually ended up leading me to attract my husband in just 30 days. But I'll speak about that in just a second. The crazy thing is that I pulled this board out of my storage and had a look and be like, wow, <laughs> pretty much most of the things came true. And I really remember back in the days when I was sitting with this vision board, my life was nowhere near where it is now. And I thought to myself, I'm sure it's not possible, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot because it can't hurt, can it? And that's when I did this little exercise and then started looking at this vision board and then the rest is history. Like things really do manifest. My story is not the only story. If you have a look around on the internet, you're gonna see how many stories are just like mine. It is kind of creepy, but kind of amazing. Let me tell you a few examples of the things that came true. Clearly, I wanted to attract designer goods into my life, and that happened very much so. We have Chanel, and we have a Rolex here. But my biggest, biggest dream was to get married and find my soulmate. You can see here, actually, this picture is from my original vision board. And the thing is that this man is very similar to how my husband actually looks like. I mean, and yeah, we also got a dog, but our dog looks slightly different. <laughs> However, even though I'm saying like, oh, look at all these things that I've attracted, I'm actually gonna give you one mistake that I did with this exact vision board, but I'm gonna keep it towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay around. I'm not doing this from like a bragging perspective. I hate that kind of thing. I just wanna, you know, share with you because I am quite amazed how well it worked out, but I also wanna really motivate you and inspire you. Cause I remember, you know, when I first got to learn about the vision board technique and and I saw how, you know, famous people had made their vision board and things came true. At the cover of Sports Illustrated and the cover of Vogue were on my vision board. Really? Yes. It took me two years. It took the vision board that I still have up two years. Heard other people's success stories about manifestation and how it works and literally describing miracles happen. I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million. And that's the thing, like, life is kind of weird. Miracles happen every day in the most bizarre ways that nobody can explain. So for this reason, I was always really open to, maybe we as humans do not have everything figured out on this planet. Maybe there's loads that we do not know how it works, why it works, and we cannot make any sense of it. So you know what, maybe law of attraction works. Law of Attraction is based on the principle of what you send out to universe, you will receive back. Very much based on kind of the power of positivity, the power of love and kindness. When I did my 30 day manifestation intensive, honestly, I have never felt better. And that is because there is actually a real chemical reaction that happens in your body. When you work with things like gratitude, your body or your hormones are releasing dopamine, the feel good hormone. When you work with affirmations, and visualizations, you are actually taking control of your life, of your destiny. And that gives you confidence, that gives you empowerment. And then also this feeling of just kind of being in control, but like in a healthy way. Some people don't like the word law of attraction. I personally like to use the word law of the subconscious because that's ultimately what it is. You are wiring energy, vibrations, affirmations into your subconscious. And then what happens is that your subconscious thinks that that is reality. And what it does is that it tries to match whatever it thinks is the reality. So if you are saying to yourself that you belong in Maldives, or Saint-Tropez, then your subconscious is gonna think that that is reality and make sure that the actions you take or the subconscious actions you take are gonna match so that 
it leads you kind of in that direction or at a crossroad that's the path you go down or that's the decision you take to be able to reach that goal Listen, I know that law of attraction is a taboo topic. I know that we live in times where unless kind of science can prove it, it doesn't exist. But that's the thing. I just think that there's so much we cannot explain, you know, with life on earth, that why do we have these expectations that law of attraction can be proven scientifically? Like it can't. It's an abstract thing that we can't prove. A lot of people who do not like or are opposed law of attraction, they are usually the people who have never really tried it. <laughs> so of course, they're gonna think that it's all a pile of BS. Law of attraction will only work if you believe in it. Remember that I told you that I attracted my husband in just 30 days by using law of attraction. And guess why I was able to do it? Well, because I really believe that it was possible. I believe that it was possible to manifest anything you want and I stayed really consistent with my manifestation practice. I did it every single day for 30 days. Now, actually, in just a few seconds, I'm gonna go over my exact manifestation technique with you. If you feel like you still want to go even deeper on it, then and I've actually created a masterclass. It's a one hour training that you can get if you go to manifestwithannabay.com and there I will break down every single detail and really teach you this technique so that you can replicate it at home. Go to manifestwithannabay.com. Visualization is one, and I really do recommend anyone to create a vision board. Now listen, you do not need any special skills for this. You do not need any financial investment besides maybe buying scissors, maybe buying a few magazines to cut out a little bit of inspirational or aspirational images. And then honestly, just start putting it all together. Like whatever resonates with you, whatever is aligned with your dreams and desires and your level up journey. Then we have the gratitude practice, which is so important because it's not really about just like give me this I want that no you also want to see what you already have and you might be saying yeah but Anna I don't have anything there's nothing in my life to be grateful for wrong everyone everyone has something in their life to be grateful for. And you need to really capitalize on that energy and really feel grateful because the more you feel it in your core, the more you're gonna attract more of those bigger things. So you really, really need to be grateful every single day for the blessings in your current life. Then we have the affirmations. I'm sure you have heard people say, I am rich, I am this, I am that, I am beautiful, I am skinny. The thing is that you have to offer course, align yourself with the person that you want to become. That means that you're telling your subconscious, okay, I have these things already in my life. So you subconscious, you go out now and align with what I just told you. <laughs> the thing with law of attraction is actually it really does help you focus. And when I have heard from you ladies in the leveling up community, many of you tell me how much you struggle with focus, with motivation and feeling determined. I know that many of you procrastinate, you feel stuck. Having a really good vision board helps you wake up every day, look at whatever you have in front of yourself and really focus on aligning kind of your daily mission or your weekly mission or how how much you want to work on your goals. Remember, why are you doing this leveling up journey? Why? Well, because you want X, Y, Z, right? Now, if you remove this vision board and wake up to nothing, now how are you going to feel motivated by this? Probably you're going to forget about your leveling up goals. When we see it visually in front of us, it's just so much easier to focus and have clarity and just know what you should be doing. Now, I need to spill one big secret to success. And it's not only, you know, Know, success with manifestation it also has to do with just general success in life and that is the self-belief because in my case I thought that I could achieve these things and therefore I did but if you create a vision board and you look at these things and you just feel afraid or that it's impossible or that you could never ever have any of those things you don't deserve these things if that is the continuous conversation that happens in your mind you're never going to be able to attract any of these things no matter how much law of attraction you do or how many 
classes you take or things you buy into, it's just not going to work. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it will. The foundation to any success in life has to start from your belief that it's possible for you. If looking at these things just make you feel worse, you need to ask yourself why you think like that. What happens in your mind that makes you tell yourself that that is true? Where do those thoughts come from? And are they really, really true? Maybe these thoughts have been imposed onto you. Maybe someone has been telling you this. Maybe the environment that you have been in have never supported your dreams and desires. And if you feel like that, then that is the first, first thing that you need to sort out before embarking on anything else. But it doesn't have to take you long to just snap out of it because it's all about a mindset change understanding that you are valuable that you can have anything you want if other people could do it you can do it too there is nothing special about anybody else we're all the freaking same but we all we all have our own struggles we all have our own shortcomings and we all have our own blessings it is your responsibility to take control of that negative internal self-talk that basically hinders you from achieving anything in life and my job here is is to help motivate you and push you in a direction where you belong because ultimately you belong where your dreams are okay and whatever those dreams may look like they don't have to look like this by the way like forget about this and i'm actually gonna tell you my mistake that i did when I created this vision board, you know, it was all, you know, Rolex, diamonds, watches, designer brands, first class travel, you name it. But you know what? What is so bizarre is that I forgot to add some really important things onto this vision board. And those things I wish I could have also attracted or maybe attracted instead of, you know, this stupid Chanel bag. I wish I could have put on this vision board anxiety free. I wish I would have put stress proof, more time on my hands, genuine friendships, being surrounded by pets, have loads of energy and have amazing health, never get sick. Like I wish I could have put a little bit more of those things onto this vision board instead of uh, like, who wants this watch? Like, let's just remove it. I don't want this and this either. Actually, let's remove this too, this too, over it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a new vision board that is gonna align with my level up goals in 2024, because of course, a lot has changed. I am no longer interested in absolutely everything on this board. And also, one thing that you have to understand, when you gain something in your life, other things come with it. When I put on the vision board, I want to be an entrepreneur. There's a lot that comes with being an entrepreneur. Stress, little time left for yourself or the things you love doing. There's always a second side to the coin that we don't always think about. I know that the vision board that I'm going to now do is going to look different. And I'm happy about that because I know now what really matters in life and what leveling up really means to me. By all means, go out and create a vision board beyond your wildest dreams. Dream free and put everything you desire. Just remember the things that also matters in life. Those that actually bring us genuine happiness. Like this jewelry might give you short-term happiness, but ultimately that's not what's going to lead you to long, fulfilling happiness. And is it leveling up truly about those things? That trip to Maldives will be fun, but again, if you're there with the wrong company or there's bad weather, it's not gonna be what you envision it to be. So be very specific when you create this vision board. Make sure you craft it uniquely for you, what you want out of life, not what society tells us we should gain out of life. Feel like we are very much brainwashed these days with uh, how success looks like. And I know I certainly have also been brainwashed, which is why my vision board back then looked very superficial. Anyway, I'm gonna now go and redo my vision board. And for those of you who wanna come and join me for my masterclass, go to manifestwithannabay.com. I have many short classes waiting for you. If you just go to this link that is listed on the screen or in the description box below, you will be able to take more in-depth trainings with me. Some are free, some are paid. Just head over there and then I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.